Hello, I'm the nerd. The, the, hello, I'm the nostalgia collector. Welcome to my nerd cave. Wow, I could not get that out. It has been a while since I have filmed anything. Uh, puppy. Oh, Dan. So, been way too broke to do anything uh, for like a couple months. Uh, but needed to decompress uh, Friday and did it again today, Saturday, and got some stuff that I think is worth discussing. So, um. Let me just jump into it then. Okay, so first off, um, I went by one of my regular haunts uh, on the way home from work on Friday. And grabbed a handful of DVDs. I grabbed like nine. Although I don't, I think I uh, might have one of them missing from the stack. But it, it's nothing. Um, so, um, collect your thoughts. Okay, so I got to the register with a stack thinking, well, you know what? It's whatever they're gonna be cheap, so I don't I don't know how much they were. I didn't pay attention. Uh, they were ten for a dollar. So what did I get? Uh, first off, I got robots. Uh, the reason I got this, uh, not necessarily that I wanted it particularly on DVD. Like I would, you know, want to grab the Blu-ray maybe. Um, not that I really hated it or anything. It's got Robin Williams in it, and I remember kind of enjoying it but it's been since it came out but the reason i got this is because um being the big xbox collector that i am this is one of the dvds that came with the xbox playable demo and i'm getting close on getting that full set so robots on dvd um save those i got uh, chicken little on blu-ray not the best disney movie but it was a disney movie that i did not yet own on blu-ray so i went ahead and grabbed it and uh, from the Super Mario World animated series, I got uh, Yoshi the Superstar DVD. So I thought that was kind of dope. And this was the uh, best thing yesterday. Uh, the, uh, the entirety of the original Teen Titans, uh, not the Teen Titans Go bullshit. This is uh, the original. All five seasons plus the Trouble in Tokyo movie on DVD. I was so stoked. To find all of these in one place for basically nothing. Because like I said, they were doing a 10, do uh, 10 DVDs for one uh, thing. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I attempted to go buy a different haunt, like right down the road from that one. Unfortunately, it is permanently closed. Uh, it's got a couple other branches elsewhere. Uh, I would have just had to double back to go to those. And they would have probably been closed or closing by the time I got to one or the other. But, um, I, I wound up going a little bit further down the road, though, to Ollie's. Not to be confused with Aldi. This is Ollie's, O-L-L, -L, whatever. Um, don't sleep on them if you're a book reader, because I, I've been picking up a couple books here and there from them. <laughs> and, uh, for, yeah, $9, The uh, Complete Fiction of H.P. Lovecraft. And I know, problematic author, uh, very racist person that's bled into some of his stories. Uh, like, the fact that he was problematic back then. Like, it's not just he was a product of his time. His contemporaries, again, white dudes in the 1920s in America, called him too extreme. So, yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty damn problematic. But there are a few stories that I have been wanting to read. He is still considered influential in some of those stories. Uh, just try to nitpick which ones to read if you don't want to see the, you know, bigotry. Um, and then maybe try to turn a blind eye to where it did seep through into some of them. Uh, but anyway, that's that's a topic for, like, a different video. Uh, then today, I went, I dropped my girlfriend off at work, and, um, what the hell are you doing? Odin's doing something. I think he found cat puke. Uh, anyway, so, and while I was uh, in town there, I went to a few of my regular thrift stores. And, I uh, actually got some decent stuff today. So this one. Oh, this is a Canon LV7250 projector. Couldn't say if it works. It didn't have the cable to plug it in or anything. But for $9, I took the gamble. Um, if it does work, it's a pretty good projector to own or sell. Oh. Uh, let's see. Then... Eh, gimme. Alright. 
and that's it for that bag. Um, okay, so that same thrift store I grabbed. This is not the same thrift store. This is a different one. You know, it, it doesn't matter. I, I stopped at thrift stores. So I grabbed Max Payne 3 for the 360. So that was pretty dope to find. I grabbed Fallout New Vegas for the 360. And on Wii, um, Coco 2 Co Magic Circus something, some mini game collection for the Wii. Alright, I uh, grabbed the Blu-ray Semi-Pro with Will Ferrell. Never saw this one, actually, so, uh, yeah, I figured I'd grab the Blu-ray if, it, if it's cheap enough, and, you know, whatever. Grabbed it. And then, again, this is for the DVDs with Xbox playable demos, and that leaves me with one more to get, uh, honestly. So, here we have uh, Ang Lee's Hulk on DVD with uh, an entire level of the Hulk game. And I actually remember playing that demo way back in the day. So, that was kind of dope to find. Oh, let's see here. Maybe those were the same. I don't know. Again, it, it doesn't really matter uh, which store I stopped and what I grabbed at which one. So, I, I really need to start remembering to pull these out of bags before I start trying to dig into them. Um, so here we have Gears of War 1 for the 360. I think I already had 2 and 3, so, uh, and we'll go through the rest of the 360s. So I grabbed uh, Titanfall for the 360, and Batman Arkham City for the 360. I love those games, dude. Haven't played the Switch re-release. I heard that there's some um, stuttering, like it's not powerful enough to really to run them, which is off-putting but I've, I've heard that it's not terrible terrible but noticeable if you primarily stick to recent uh modern gaming but i don't know uh we'll go through the rest of the games too before i get to the dvd um gi joe rise of cobra for the ds lego battles for the ds i had one uh, battles ninjago but i looked at my app and saw that I already on that one uh transformers autobots for the ds and Transformers Dark of the Moon Autobots for the DS. And then for the DVD, um, I believe this is the original, ver yeah, from uh, Robert Wise, the director, Michael, based on Ro uh, Michael Crichton's book, uh, The Andromeda Strain. So that was kind of cool to see. Um, and then this is a Goodwill that I stopped at. Um... This isn't that exciting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies are going insane lately. Uh, this isn't all that exciting right here, but, uh, you know, a whole bunch of Wii condoms. So, there we go. Um, I grabbed this. I believe it's from uh, the Lost World Jurassic Park. Uh, just one of the Jeeps. So, I think it said 1998, and I believe it's missing a... And it is missing a wheel. Uh... Yeah, 1998, I think, is what that says. So, from Kenner. But uh, also, a grab bag with goodies. So I'm going to sit this down for a sec and tear into it. Alright, so we have got a Velociraptor. And I, I, I love the dinosaurs from this era. The Jurassic Park stuff. So, yeah. Um... A little mini dinosaur. I don't think that actually went with these. It's got the Jurassic Park symbol on its foot, so I don't know. And there's also another mini one right here. Uh, not sure what that actually goes to. One of the play sets, I'm sure. Pachycephalosaurus. That's, that's what you are, right? It is, like, I used to be obsessed with dinosaurs. I'd be able to tell you what they are. So, still works. I've already got this guy, though, so... And, uh, some other little pieces that I think might have actually gone to the Jeep. So, cool. But, uh, I also grabbed this guy. And, uh, this is probably the find of the day. Um, I'm not familiar with it. Like, I'm, I'm obviously familiar with 
the line that it came from. Um, the tag is faded to all hell, so I can't look at that to go off of. But just from my Google image search, I don't think they're very common. And I saw, I think, a listing on eBay for well over $100 for it. So, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, according to that listing, and I again, I'm just going by that listing. It could be wrong. Uh, it said 1992. Rare giant um, Ninja Turtle plush. Um, again, like I've never seen these. Uh, it's that's the old logo, which would make sense if it was 1992. Uh, but again, I cannot read the tag to save my life because it is faded, faded. Uh, so I might have to do another Google reverse image search on this guy, but that might be one of the rarer Ninja Turtles things that I own now. Uh, and if so, that's awesome. Uh, ecstatic about that. So, it's Raphael. I'm colorblind. I think that's Raphael, right? That looks red, not orange. So, yeah. If it's Raph, then it's Raph. But it looks orange in the camera to me. I don't know. So, anyway, yeah. But, um... So if that is a vintage, and the listing was correct, find of the day right there. Well, except for maybe the projector, uh, but yeah. Anyway, so um, yeah. Anyway, that is, I believe, it. Um, it's good to be back. So anyway, I've been the nostalgia collector. Remember, physical media will never die, and I hope to see you in the next video. Um, because I don't think I have anything to sign off with, really. But, um, I'm still working on figuring stuff out for the wall here. I've also got some other stuff that I need to do elsewhere in the house. So, don't know when I'm actually going to get around to a room tour, unfortunately. But, anyway, like I said, good to be back. Uh, glad to have gotten to go to some thrift stores in the past couple days. And actually find stuff. Uh, so anyway... And like I said, I have been the Nostalgia Collector. Remember, physical media will never die. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.